Let us now pray the Regina Chair. Please kneel. Queen of Heaven, rejoice, Alleluia. For he whom we did merit to bear, Alleluia, has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer before the Mass Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come sick to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the radiance of eternal light, and poor and needy. To the Lord of heaven and earth, Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, the repentance and love, and the determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood, and its reality, reality and power. King God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of a sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please stand. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Sing a In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus Christ is telling us to serve and not to be served. Service is we need to offer to one another. In a special way, we include our personal intentions 
and for those who ask for our prayers. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restored human nature to yet greater dignity than its, at its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness that in those you have chosen to make new, through the wonder of rebirth, may you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Pamphos, Paul and his companions set sail and arrived at Perga in Pamphylia. But John left them and returned to Jerusalem. They continued on from Perga and reached Antioch in Pisidia. On the Sabbath, they entered into the synagogue and took their seats. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the synagogue officials sent word to them, My brothers, if one of you has a word of exhortation for the people, please speak. So Paul got up, motioned with his hand, and said, Fellow children of Israel, and you others who are God-fearing, listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose our ancestors and exalted the people during their sojourn in the land of Egypt. With uplifted arm, he led them out, and for about 40 years, he put up with them in the desert when he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as, an in as inheritance, as at the end of about 450 years. After these things, he provided judges up to Samuel the prophet. Then they asked for a king. God gave them Saul, son of Kis, a man from the tribe of Benjamin, for 40 years. Then he removed him and raised up David as their king. Of him he testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. From this man's descendants, God, according to his promise, has brought to Israel Savior Jesus. John heralded his coming by proclaiming a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was completing his course, he would say, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. 
Behold, one is coming after me. I am not worthy to, co to unfasten the sandals of his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever in heaven. You have confronted, confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found David my servant with my holy oil. I have anointed him that my hand may be always with him and that my arm may make him strong. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and through my name shall his horn be exalted. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had washed the disciples' feet, he said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, no slave is greater than his master, nor any messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you understand this, blessed are you if you do it. I am not speaking of all of you. I know those whom I have chosen, but so that the scripture might, scriptures might be fulfilled. The one who ate my food has raised his hill against me. From now on, I am telling you before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe that I am. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever receives the one I send, receives me. And whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. When I was still a seminarian po, we used to go for home visitation. And people sometimes reject us in their, in their houses. Kasi nga, ang sinasabi ng nila, Father, brother, we are Catholics. Yeah, it's true, they were baptized Catholics. But they easily reject people sent by God to them. Kaya ang inisip na nila, wala, yung, wala po yung nanay ko, wala yung tatay ko, busy po kami. Yan ang mindset nila. But in our day-to-day -day lives, Jesus or our God always used to knock at our lives in order for us to remind us everything. People will send people to remind us what we are doing. These are the roles of siguro yung mga messenger, the priests, the pastors, the leaders of the church. These are part of our Christian life. However, because of our personal, personal needs, personal uh, situations, we can easily reject people that the, the Lord sent 
will send to them. But in our gospel for today, would reminds us that it is so easy for us to understand the role of Jesus in our life. It is full of service. And that is why itong sinasabi niya sa mga disciples na, if you learn something from me, then you should act on it. You should give, you should share it to other people. You should serve one another. Kaya nga pumunta si Jesus dito, not to, be, not to serve, but to be served. But, but my dear brothers and sisters, God is telling us all these things that, that, that Jesus has done to us is a representation that He really loved us. Okay? Na mahal tayo ng Diyos. So ginagawa niya ito to set an example. To set an example na sana gawin din natin not only for us but to other people. Kaya kung mapapansin niyo po, Andun pa rin sa ating commandment to love God and to love your neighbor. Ibig sabihin, we should consider ourselves for the service of God and for the service of other people. Yun ang isipin natin. Hindi lang yung chosen, hindi lang yung subjective. But sana makita natin na when Jesus gave His life for the service of the people, He gave it 100%. Ganun din sana tayo. When we offer ourselves for the service of other people, hindi lang yung napipilitan ka, bagkus ibibigay mo yung sarili mo sa pagsisilbi. Hindi naman necessary na you become a, a politician, you become a priest, you become a teacher to serve other people. No, we can offer our own services as long as we know that kung alam, no, alam natin na may mga nangangailangan, then offer your service. And that is a way of a Christian way. That is a Christian role to serve other people. At yun yung pinakita sa atin ng Diyos. Sana maintindihan natin yun. And that is why Jesus is always giving us an example. Not only to, to His uh, disciples, but even to those people around Him. Na ito yung tama, na ito yung kailangang gawin, na ito yung kailangang sundin. Ang hirap kayang sumunod sa Diyos. Especially if we, are, if we are not used to be. But what is important is that we are trying to do it for the service of other people. So my dear brothers and sisters, Christ is telling us today that He is offering His life for us. Whoever receives the one offering His life for the service of God, then we are receiving Jesus Christ in our life. And there, there are a lot of many kinds of or forms of service that we can render to other people. But what is important is that we need to pattern our life, we need to pattern our service with the, with the service of Jesus Christ. Love one another, serve one another, share Christ to one another. Because the standard is that Christ give us a good example, a good mod- model to follow, and that is a good thing to do. Christ is our Lord, Christ is there for us and Christ will always there to lead us. Kaya nga sabi niya, if we believe that I am, then truly we are followers and child or children of God because we are doing what we ought to do and we are following what God commanded us to do. To love and to serve one another. Amen. Please stand. Too often we stray from the Lord's ways. Let us ask Him for the strength to live lives of faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who exercise leadership in the church may keep their commitment alive in the preaching of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those invested with authority may lead and guide the people in the spirit of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have abandoned their faith may be led back to the family of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those disheartened by suffering 
and sickness may find strength and consolation from Jesus, who was victorious over sin and death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may receive their eternal reward. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, you call us to be with you. May we be faithful in following your Son in the way to your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, you will be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us. He defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more. The Lamb was slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy Heaven and our food are full of your glory. O Sana, Sana, Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please me. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to all held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be cause eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but the Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Cordero ng Diyos na nag-alis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan maaka sa amin. Cordero ng Diyos na nag-alis ng mga kasalanan ng salibutan maka 
sa amin Konhero ng Diyos na nag-alis Ng makakasalanan ng sanlibutan Ipagkaloob mo sa amin Ang papayag Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of His saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Kumayot ihayag po rin siya At ating ibunyag awitan siya Pagliligtas ng Diyos na sa krus ni Jesus Ang siyang sa mundo'y tumubos Langit at lupa, siya'y papurihan Araw at tala, siya'y parangalan Ating pag-iwang, pag-ibig ng Diyos sa tanan Alleluia Please kneel, prayer before a crucifix Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus While before your face I humbly kneel and with your burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I'll contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words of David, your prophets said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. 
Prayer to our Lady of God. O Virgin Mary, our Lady of the Visitation of God, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Deign, O dearest Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, for particularly. And a special grace to thy God's love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 